And when you got that first taste of success, mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of people aren't prepared for what that's like. Yeah. And there's a lot of partying involved. Sure. Um, can you kind of talk about those moments and, and what kind of changed things around for you? When you're on the road and, and um, you're having shows every night and sometimes you want the, after the show's over, you want the show to continue for a little while because yeah. it's hard to come down off of that high. Um, so those, sometimes the nights went a little longer than they should. So Faith gave you an ultimatum. Well, she told me, she's, you know, she's, look, you're, you're not, you're not living up to what you need to be living up to with, yeah. with your family. And she, and she even, you know, she's an artist as well. And she, and she respects her career and said, so you're not respecting your career. You're not respecting yourself. You're not respecting the life that you have. And mm -hmm. you just need to take a long look in the mirror and figure out what you want to do. Yeah. And she was right. So you, you and Faith, how long have you been married? 23 years this 23 year. 23 years. Yeah, 23 years. She, she stuck around with me. I mean. Yeah. She's she's really has been so super supportive yeah. of you and through all this. What are some things that you guys do for one another, even if it's small, that no one really knows about? Oh. you know, to keep to keep the magic going. Well, I mean, I just say yes, ma'am. No, <laughs> no, seriously, it's That's I, the key. I think for us, the main thing is you know, you know, when you when you're in a relationship with someone, you're going to have ups and downs, and yeah. you're going to have times where you don't get along, and times where things are fabulous. But, right. Uh, but uh, you also know when things aren't going so well, you're not going to bail. Mm -hmm. And I think n the confidence in each other, knowing that you're not going to bail on, on a bad day yeah. is, or a bad couple of days or a bad week or whatever it turns out to be, knowing that you're there and you got each other's back, even if you don't like each other right. at the time. And so what are your workouts like? I think everyone in this room is, is wondering, how the heck well, do I get a body like Tim McGraw? How <laughs> well, does it happen? I started out walking. I'd start walking 10 or 15 minutes a day okay. and come back. And then the next day I'd walk a little further and then I started running. And on the roads when we really do the hardest workouts, and those are okay. usually three a day workouts. Three a day? Well, we start out in the mornings, is a, I always start with a long walk. Then we run the stadium stairs or the arena stairs or wherever we happen to be. And then after that, it's what we call our gorilla yard. And that starts at about 3.30. That's where the crazy stuff that's happens, That's the crazy right? stuff. That's where we're throwing chains around. And there you see a picture of it, the sledgehammers and, okay. and all kinds yeah. of things are going on during that. It starts with about you know, 12 or 15 guys, and then by the end of it, it's about three left when we get to the end. You see guys, you know, laying on the watch <laughs> like and it, sneaking up, pretending like they got yet? a phone call. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.